Whenever you get a chance to travel to a new country, we all agree that trying out street food is a must. It feels like being part of the locals as we indulge in their delicacies. But the real test to blend in is to try street meals that might have never crossed your mind before. As you land your feet on the streets of Malaysia, have a sip of torpedo soup or a bull's testicles. Yes, you heard it right. This dish is served in cuts of tendon like with slightly chewy bull's testicles in a slightly spicy broth and is usually served with a piece of Bengali bread. The soup is believed to enhance a male's virility to improve their performance in bed. Not only in Malaysia, the Philippines also has a similar dish called soup number 5. It received its name from being fifth in the last of soups that were listed on the restaurant's menu, which was the first to offer bull's testicle soup in the country. When you're in the Philippines, you might also want to challenge yourself with balut. Not like any ordinary boiled egg, the egg comes with the fetus of the duck that is about to be born. It is usually eaten with thin slices of ginger and mint. For locals, it's a delicacy that they enjoy for breakfast or as afternoon snacks for its great source of vitamins. This dish has made its way to neighboring Asian countries such as Vietnam and Thailand. So take a deep breath and have a gulp. Another street food that is shared by Vietnam and Thailand is silkworms. Roasted or fried, the silkworms are enjoyed as snacks which contains many nutritious proteins. Lemon leaves are cut into tiny strips and mixed into fried silkworms to add more taste to the dish. It is believed that silkworms are good for children in preventing malnutrition and for the development of their body. But if silkworms are too light for snacks, you might want to have a bite of fried spiders in Cambodia. The spiders are a species of tarantula called aping and are about the size of a human palm. Toss it in a mixture of sugar, salt and crushed garlic, then on to be fried, making it in as crunchy as it gets. The locals describe the taste as a cross between cod and chicken. So let's assume it doesn't taste that scary. So, out of those snacks, which one would you like to taste first? Rebecca Nabitupu, Erin Widyastama for C Today.